This is a desktop app which will help you learn how to use Copelia SIM. This was a 2013 Eantra hardware team. You can access the rulebook which will show you how it originally was in the 2013 theme. And this will give you the theme quiz, which is a quiz which will test your understanding of the rules of the theme. And this will directly take you to the play arena. This entire theme is split into multiple tasks so that users won't get overwhelmed. So you have five tasks here. So when we click on open Coppelia Sim scene, a uh, scene gets opened. The requirement can be seen from here. This by clicking on the read more, we can see what the problem statement is and also what the arena will look like. So when we click on evaluate scene, you can confirm and then the scene evaluation gets started. Here the scene is for detection, so we have to co write code for uh, color detection of the fruit and we can see here that uh, score is given. Also a console is provided over here to show what output of your game evaluation is. We also have a guide me option, the scores are uh, uploaded on the google sheet. So this is a basic simulation of pattern detection and line following. So it maps the entire arena and you just input uh, the coordinates that you're starting with and the target that you have to reach and it will transverse the arena by path using path planning algorithms. So as you can see this, the bot is moving. Now the images that you can see on the left hand side are masks applied. Those are not basic OpenCV color masks. So it detects patterns and now I, as it reaches its final point, it will stop. The implementation is done on a basic alpha board. Basically has a slot where you can just plug in the RPI and just start working on it. So basically this has inbuilt encoders and a place for batteries and stuff. Now there's an RPI with a USB camera attached over here and we are using OpenCV through the camera in order to control the bot and these two wheels, their motors connected with along with encoders. It will transverse the field and reach the target that I have given. Yeah, at each of the nodes it waits and then analyzes what it has to do next. And so at, at this node it will move forward and then take a 90 degree turn. And that's how it plans its path and it reaches its target. In the simulator, the images, as soon as the image would come, the processing would quickly happen and output was generated. But on the RPI, like the general uh, method of OpenCV recording a video is it takes up all the frames and keeps it in a buffer and then one by one it analyzes all the frames. Now the issue with the buffer is the robot would move quite ahead but the frames of the buffer would not get computed. A frame of a very previous past time would get computed at a very far away time. So what I had to do is reduce the buffer to a, the, the minimum value. I couldn't break it down to 1, but it's about 3 or 4. In Coppola Sim, sometimes our building algorithm, the sensor values are not all perfect. The simulation is made to real world examples. So uh, there are some mistakes in sensor values, so we have to refine them and we have to set the thresholds. So that was also tedious to do. We have to fine tune our algorithms. When we are trying to integrating our app with Python backend, we have to make communicate between JavaScript and Python. One of our teammates uh, suggested to use Python cell. Then after we have applied that, then only it works. When two objects uh, which are looking to collide with each other, or are seem to touching each other, their respondable marks should be uh, opposite of one another. Because if their respondable marks keep, uh, become same and if somehow in simulation some mistake, if they overlap each other, then the simulation will behave very strangely. In this internship, I learned Electron JS and now I am working on my own project for developing a desktop app, desktop app on Electron JS. that I am a student of civil engineering 
and i do not find many opportunities where a, a student of civil engineering is entertained to do electronics and software stuff but e yantra without considering that fact just took me in because i had proved myself in the eyrc competition so e yantra basically what it does it it opens a lot of opportunities it does not limit you based on your past or uh, the fact that you don't have a degree in that robotics domain